I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this short little video presentation. Uh, my name is Brian Jack Holder and I ran for Congress two years ago as an independent and I'm running again this summer for Congress as an independent. Uh, tonight was February 1st, uh, the Iowa caucus was tonight and I participated in the caucus and I also gave a couple of speeches in support of Senator Rand Paul and his candidacy for President of the United States. So. What you're about to watch uh, is a little news clip of the caucus tonight in Crescent, Iowa, and I also filmed both of my speeches. Uh, there were four rooms with uh, Republicans in them, and uh, I only had time to speak to two of the four rooms, but uh, just to, to give everyone a little bit of a, uh, a background look at what, uh, what it looks like to attend the Iowa caucus and to also uh, stand up and give a speech in support of uh, your candidate. So, Enjoy the uh, short little video, and if you have any questions about me or my campaign, my website is holderforiowa.com, and that's H-O-L-D-E-R-F-O-R-Iowa.com. Thank you. On tonight's Iowa, on tonight's Iowa, Congress in Iowa, Democrats and Republicans gathering in the same building. First time. The turnout tonight at Crescent Elementary School, Republicans in this room and Democrats in this room. This unique presidential process on display. My nomination is for Ted Cruz. It's also legal immigration that I'm primarily concerned with. Rick Santorum served eight years on the Armed Services Committee. But you time the speakers. They only get so much time. Five minutes is what they're allotted. For the Republicans, a vote follows the talks. We're out of, out of voting things. The gymnasium filled with Democrats. We ratify these delegates. Bernie has six. Hillary has eight. We have... More delegates, which is great. For standing room only until the, uh, 7 o'clock when they shut the door and didn't allow any more in. So. That was wonderful. Hard to find a place to park there tonight. I bet. You know, a crescent, a town of about 600 people and several other area communities were also there. So it was a great turnout tonight. A, a record. Next. I'm gonna this go. gentleman. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, some of you may know who I am. Some of you may think I just stepped out of a time vortex. But, uh, my name is Brian Jack Holder, and uh, I'm here to speak uh, in support of Rand Paul. I wouldn't tell anyone here who to vote for. I ran for Congress two years ago. I'm running again, and uh, that's your choice who to vote for. But I've studied all of the candidates, and from my less than expert opinion, the only one who doesn't want to start World War III or Civil War II is Rand Paul. I've met him several times, I've had my photo taken with him, and I stood next to him as a free man, as a freeborn American, carrying a Glock on my hip. I didn't have to go through security like I've had to do with other candidates. He understands the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and he understands that we all own ourselves, that no one has a prior claim on us or the fruits of our labor. Uh, and he talked about one of the serious things is the national debt. The country is so deeply indebted that it's never going to be paid off. Now, most of the candidates have to tell us that they have a plan to reduce the national debt, but the country is going to default on it at some point because we went off the gold standard generations ago, and now we're on the uranium and the plutonium standard. And so I ask all of us, I thank you for being here tonight, but just think about the future of our children and our grandchildren and what kind of country we're going to leave to them. And... Uh, I'm supporting Rand Paul because he stands, in my opinion, for liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I was going to speak in support of Senator Paul, but if no one wants to hear it, that's fine. All right, uh, my name's Brian Jack Holder. I uh, grew up out here in Crescent. I attended school here. I may have even spent time in this very classroom. So uh, a couple years ago, I ran for Congress. I'm running again. I'm not getting paid by the Paul campaign to speak here tonight, but I wouldn't tell anyone here who to vote for. I didn't ask anybody to even vote for me. So that's a private decision, and it's up to each one of you to make that decision. But uh, the country has some serious problems. 
uh, especially the national debt. Uh, we can't continue the welfare warfare state because the national debt is never going to be paid off and the country is going to default on it at some point. So each one of us needs to look at whatever values you hold dear, whatever issues are important to you, and to vote for that candidate. Uh, the reason I support Rand is basically I've met him several times, I've had my photo taken with him wearing this crazy outfit, and uh, I carried my Glock on my hip, I stood next to him as an armed free man, and some of the other candidates I could not get that close to. You know, you had to go through security and they treat you like you're a second class citizen. So, Rand Paul, he has a basic, uh, from my understanding, I think he, he defends the Bill of Rights on the floor of the Congress. He stood up against the NSA spying on all of us. Uh, the, the drone program, our government claims the authority to kill people, I mean, even American citizens, without a trial. And to someone like me that has studied the Constitution, that just turns my stomach. So I hope you guys, uh, I want to thank you for coming out tonight and, and participating in this. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll get a uh, Republican elected next fall. So thank you.